video cassette and select DVD. They'll leave you screaming for more. <clears throat> hey, hey, ghoul friends. Hey! <laughs> Happy Halloween! <Woo! laughs> I just screamed really loud, sorry. <laughs> I feel like whenever we do a mini fright, I'm just going to like chill. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then the main hip episode hits. It's because we like film it first or film we, it first. It's because <laughs> we record it first. And then like, I'm like, okay, I'm ready. And then the mm. main episode is fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Who are oh. you, Basil? Tell me more about your costume. We got an alligator. Well, I'm, 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 you know, oh, what's his name? Alligator Loki. Maybe. Cute. Loki would be really cute. I love that. Best of both worlds. Okay. Well, well, I'm 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 Pearl. I'm Pearl. Pa- I'm Pearl. Um I feel like my costume well, who are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's from this this small indie indie show. Indie, yeah. Yeah. Like just a couple guys got together, made the it's Stranger Things season. I feel like a dick now. Yeah. Stranger Things season three. <laughs> it's like three. this really low key. Like you probably didn't hear hear of it. Um I feel like you are like fully serving and I'm kind of like what is it called when bounding? What is it? Bounding. Yes. Dis- yes. Disney dis- dis- bounding. Yes. Yeah. But I'm pe- I'm pounding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pounding. Pounding vibes. Yes. Fucking I'm pounding. pounding vibes. <laughs> but you're like you're you're in it. I'm here. I'm queer. Um, and I have I a fetish for Steve Harrington. Sorry, Joe Curry. I knew all of that. I know. I know. Been new. I know. Anyone who follows me on Twitter also knows. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Remember when you ran into him on the street? I did, and I and I, I and usually you barked at him. <laughs> I might as well have barked at him. <laughs> I really it was so it was so it was so sick and twisted because I decided to say hi as if you I knew, knew him. him intentionally I so know. that he would be like, Oh, do I know that person? And if that's You're not kind the of most- really fucked up and manipulative for that. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's toxic. It is so gross that I did that. I can't I love believe you. I did I that. Love you. But he literally was like, oh, like, hey, like, he was like, yeah. and then I could see him be like, do I know him? And you I'm like, like, yeah. That like fuels your fantasy for years. Oh, mama. Yeah. Absolutely. And my poor dog is just like, dad, are Shut you okay? Like, up. stop. Like, yeah. I'm the one that's supposed to be barking. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> hey, hi. Happy Halloween. Taylor Swift that's remix. Kind of cute. Could be cuter. Um, so happy Halloween. Hi, everyone. I hope you all have wonderful costumes planned like we clearly do. Clearly. Um, we got some tattoos. Yeah. We got some spooky tattoos. Yeah. Do you want to show? I don't know how I can show. Yeah, I'll do this first because it's, it's. I mean, I'm not wearing the proper underwear for this right now. But um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can even see that. But we'll put a picture on screen. Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. That. It'll check our <laughs> socials. But yeah, we got Nadja, what we do in the shadows tattoos. Mm-hmm. Uh, specifically the Nadja doll neon sign from the club she opens Wait, in season four. Let's remember four. to take a picture after this. Oh. What? I have my, my second skin is still on. Oh. I have, I think I have the pictures from when we got them. I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. And in Wild, at Wild Wind Tattoo in Chicago, they're Ugh, the best. We love. Yeah. yeah. Rich. Big fan of Rich. Big fan. Um, I haven't gotten a tattoo since... I, last time I got a tattoo was also there um, mm. with Rich, and I got my Jennifer's body, yep. and that was in April. Long time. Yeah, I haven't gotten one since um, probably around the same time, like mm-hmm. when like the world was opening back up, type of thing, and yeah. you could go to a tattoo appointment. Yeah, um, that's kind of the last time I went to. So it's been it was a long time. Pain. It still hurts to get Coited. tattoos. Did you know that it doesn't Coited. go away? It doesn't. Like I'm like, when will it stop? Like when will my body be like? okay with a needle going up like, and down and through its epidermal layer. You know layer. what? I do... What did you just say? I was... Never mind. Okay. Um, <laughs> I do think we can move on from this. I think... Yeah, we can. Getting but. tattoos has... I was... I had the biggest fear of needles until I started getting tattoos. And it has like... I, anytime I get a shot, I'm like, slay. I don't give a fuck. Yes. It's no, crazy. I agree. I agree. I'm still weird about drawing blood, but oh, outside yeah. of that, I'm like, hit me. Yeah. Pound me. Pound You're Pound pounding. Me. What's up? That was our fourth tattoo together, second matching tattoo. Yeah. What's our next one? Y'all let us know. You, it's just like honestly, the big it, it, fat fear queers logo just on our back. one person to comment what to get as a tattoo. <laughs> we and will we would do be it. Like, I swear to fucking God, we'll do it. <laughs> I feel like there was one more, but I don't remember. That we, that we were that we thinking wanted. about? Yeah. Okay. 
I don't remember what it was. Well, when Wanda gets her own movie, it'll be that. <sighs> yeah. Her. Her. It's she, her. Her. She. Her. She. Her. I her love she's. Megan the Stallion. I do too. I'll get a Megan the Stallion tattoo. Anyway, um, <sighs> what what's up? What what do we? <laughs> what is up? What have we been watching? Let's because you want to take a trip to the FQ Video Store. Yes. Come on, Barbie. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. <laughs> Can you sing it? Because I don't want to put it in this episode. Oh, yeah. Um, what is it? Welcome. Welcome to the FQ video store. Perfect. Store, 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 the, the, store, the, the, store, the, store. We should boom, update boom, it. Boom, 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 boom. Um, hey, we're there. Yeah. So a lot. We've been watching a lot. It's been a busy month. We also like the last few episodes. We haven't talked about what we've been watching. I feel yeah, like so. Yeah, has got it a... Baze has got a a lot to um yeah i won't here. say all of it because girl no one asked um <laughs> do you want to go first i've been watching rings of power and consequence uh consequently the entire lord of the rings trilogy and this is all very new to me i've talked about it with you before uh i'm a big fan i do enjoy it rings of power is gorgeous and amazing a great entry point into lord of the rings because i was like confused but in a good way i might watch the show before i watch i've never seen a movie so you I might- should. And Arabella would obviously loves it because she loves Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And it's just like, it's just a beautiful show. The production's in- incredible and the writing's great and the characters are amazing. Like the characters, I just am so in love with this, these characters. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's that. And Lord of the Rings, the movies have been fun. And then I watched um, Halloween Ends, which we made an entire episode about. And oh, I don't, I didn't get COVID. Hi, update Hi. of the week. Actually, I didn't get you COVID. did. We just don't care. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. exist anymore. <laughs> Yeah, we actually, yeah, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to yeah. escalate that joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> basically, um, we also, I've, I've watched uh, Werewolf by Night. Yes. Which you watched, but you did. haven't talked about. Yeah. Did you like it? I did like it. I think, I don't know if the rewatchability factor is there for me. Mm. I don't know. I might be like every spooky season, but I don't know if I'd watch it if it's not spooky season. Yeah, I only could watch it during October. Yeah. Yeah. Which I, is cool. I mean, I, I like that. I feel that way about a Marvel property. Yeah. Um, but I really liked it. I it I will say it's not the most memorable. So I'm kind of struggling mm, to remember. I get that. I get that. But I loved, I loved the style of it, obviously. Yeah. I think that's what was most memorable. Like outside of, like, I don't think the story was memorable. So mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. I think just like the. Acting was great. Acting was great. Also, Harriet Harris. I didn't know she was going to be in that. Yeah, I f- love adore her. Yeah, and the guy, to no one's surprise, hot. is so hot. hot. I mean, no hot. one. I think we should just not cast any more hot people. Yeah, I'm so. I, I could literally start crying. I'm so tired of simping. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. When will it end? I literally don't know. It's well, like that's between- how I feel about what's her name? What's her butt? Um, who was Jessica Jones meets Buffy? She was Jessica Jones meets Buffy. Yeah. It was so huh. wild. I literally thought it was Jessica Jones when I first saw the trailer. I think a lot of people did. If you watch my trailer, trailer reaction, I literally gasp when she comes on screen because you for thought a it was her. Second, Kristen, I thought it was Kristen her. Ritter? And like, thank God I stopped myself from like reacting any more to that. Did but you I, like Jessica Jones? Did you watch I, it? I watched some of it. I know her more from the comics though. I don't okay. know her from the TV show I a lot. I fucking love that show. Yeah. I just love Chris. I just watched everything. It wasn't even that I love Jessica Jones. I just loved Kristen Ritter. Yeah, like she's great. so fucking much. Really don't great. trust the B. Apartment 23. <gasps> apartment 23. Gone too soon. Um it truly was. But yeah. Love. Okay. Love yeah. that. So what are you what are you watching? Um, I have a really long list. Let me list. get my list. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Um, well, okay. Last oh, last night I saw Wendell and Wilde. New Jordan Peele, Keegan Michael Key, Claymation, yes. Animation, Slaymation. Yes. It was really good. First, as someone who hates Claymation and Animation because it's scary, it like, I've talked about this it's too unnerving. many times. I get yeah. it. Anyway, um, it was good. The story was like all over the place. It was really? a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. Um, but I really liked all the characters. The, it was, it is like you have to watch that movie high. Like, okay, good to know. It's like you have to. Yeah. And I was not. So mm. I think that's what did it. In there. Me. Yeah. Yeah. But I really liked it. Okay. Um, and very, just cool that, and just cool that Jordan Peele, like, it made a claymation. Like, that's just cool. Very cool. Yeah. He, well, he wrote the screenplay and he acted or he voiced um, him and Mike, Keegan Michael Key voiced the, like, two little demons. So cute. Love that. So Love cute. Love that. Yeah. It was great. Um, and then I saw Sick. Oh my God, by, with my partner. Yeah. I keep stealing your man. I'm stealing him on 
one of these days. Yeah, soon. This week. Yeah. We're going to go see Please Baby Please. I love that. Oh, it's tomorrow, Wednesday. Tomorrow's Tuesday, darling. Yeah, I know. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Is it Wednesday tomorrow? No, tomorrow's Tuesday. Right, 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 right. But Wednesday's when you're seeing the movie. Right, yeah. right, right. Um, <laughs> I'm excited for that too. That looks camp as fuck. Um, That'll be fun. But sick. Yeah, I saw it with Blake and it was the like um, per- the Chicago premiere at the Chicago Film Festival and it was sick, darling. I, love I that. loved it. What was it about? Pandemic. Yeah, but in a way that's good. And <laughs> yeah. that's what I'm really yeah. interested by. I'm really fascinated by media about the pandemic that is actually really great and engaging. I just and cool. thought it was fucking funny. Yeah. I think it's hard for Kevin Williamson to not slay. Yeah. Um, so it it gave me some bodies, bodies, bodies vibes. Like in terms of just like <sighs> ridiculousness. Yeah. Um, yeah. and it was 80 minutes. I'm I'm there. 80 minutes in and out. Yeah. Love it. Period. And I yeah, it was great. Um, I'm really excited to watch it again once it's Whenever the fuck it's out. Um, and I saw, uh, speaking of COVID, remember when we were supposed to see Glass Onion together? Yay. <laughs> we had to cancel plans to see Glass Onion together that yeah. Beza was so generous and bought me a ticket to, and like <laughs> Catherine Hahn was going to be there. It was yeah. like the ultimate friendship date. And I then know. I was like, I might it'll, have coronavirus. It'll be <laughs> the coronavirus, the novel. The no- coronavirus. <sighs> <clears throat> sorry but That's i did fine. i did go I just had like six flashbacks at the same time sorry to like <laughs> so watching sorry. the news i guess <laughs> sorry sorry i did that to you no. um yeah i did go without my chasey mm. um but it was fun it was re- i loved the movie it was really good i don't want to like say anything else to Prevents. punch the axe closer into your neck yeah, yeah. thank you but Catherine Hahn. You're not watching this, but I wish you were. <laughs> and I wish you'd give me your phone number. And I wish you would be in my thruple. Um Yeah. And uh, da, 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 da. oh, and then I've watched way too much. Dead End Paranormal Park season two, Slay, the animation. Oh, great. Yeah, no, on I know Netflix. the show. Yeah. I didn't so know this season good. two. Great. Yeah. Love it. It just came out. Um and Interview with the Vampire. Still killing it. Yes, I haven't. I'm not off? fully kept up. Okay. The TV shows I'm watching, I am not fully kept up with. There's, I, I know much. we always talk about this. I know everyone always talks about this, but the, just the um, um, amount of content. Too much. It's so, it's so wild. I Are don't you watching know. Chucky, the new season? I, that's what I was thinking about when I said that. And, I, um, I have to watch like two, I have to keep up with like two more episodes. I know. It is so funny because Blake and I was sitting for the TV. I'm like, well, we're not watching anything. Like, what should we watch? Like, should we start a new show? Mm-hmm. But I keep forgetting. Um, I know Chucky's there, but I mean to be fair, Chucky's like on Sci-Fi only, or you have to like pay for it on YouTube, and or like I'll it. pay for the season pass. But yeah, I just don't have the chutzpah to like put all that energy. No, in there. total. That's I think that's why I don't know if it's not streaming, which is horrible. If it's yeah, not like but that's streaming, just the way. Of I know the way. I know it sucks. Um, but uh, uh, um, 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 if it's not on there, it's hard to get. It's yeah, hard to, yeah, the the only show I will s- keep talking about is the watcher because i know you don't like it yeah i don't dislike it i just like it doesn't look like there's enough there for me to like invest into oh bitch the last few episodes i have two episodes left they go in really yeah it's like kind of really fun oh it's like the last episode i watched the it was like the ending scene was like giving barbarian okay see then i'm i'm into it i'm into it. and jennifer coolidge is so fucking good at it yeah okay so fucking good okay but i just love how like stupid it is yeah and, like, I love that it's true crime, but it's not, like... Super serious. It's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's, like, campy, but it's also, like, completely, mostly fabricated. Like, a lot yeah. of the story is not what actually happened. Yeah. And I think I'm just, like, I don't know, some true crime is a little too yeah. cringe. Yeah. Um, But they did, I think they were doing this really well. But I have two episodes left if it sucks. I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Please do, honestly, because yeah. if they don't suck, then I'd watch it. Yeah, I'll let you know. I Yeah, I just... I think I'm going to finish yeah. it tonight. Okay. I'll great. let you know. Okay. And y'all let me know in the comments down below if you like it, because <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just like fun, stupid. Fun, stupid. I love fun, stupid. And streaming. I'm like, girl... It's right there. Yeah. 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 No commercials. Yes. That's all I'm going to say, because... I don't... Who yeah. fucking cares? I get who it. Who fucking cares? I don't have anything else anyway, so... Okay. That's basically all I've been watching. I mean, the, to be fair, Rings of Power took a lot of time and and, and Lord time of the Rings movies energy. are like three hours long and yanking off. Yank, <laughs> yanking, yanking it. Off. 
What Yankee is it? Wanking Doodle off. off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was one alphabet letter off. Um, speaking of watching, of watching, watcher. The watcher. Not the one I was just talking about. No, but we watched Watcher's production of Ghost Files featuring Shane Madej and Ryan Bergara. We are both <laughs> big fans of BuzzFeed Unsolved from way back in the day. I mean, I've been watching those boys for a good decade yes. of my life at this point. Too long. Um, way too long. And basically, for those who don't know, these two boys... Men. Grown men. <laughs> They're grown men. These two grown men who they ghost hunt, and one of them believes in ghosts, and one of them doesn't believe in ghosts. We should do a little mini fart on them one day. Oh, absolutely. It'd be so I fun. mean, it would be a Our hot and episodes. heavy one, though, because those two make me feel feral. Feral. Ferret. Um, Ferret. So we went. We went and saw. They're, they're doing a tour of their new ghost hunting show. They went on tour. They were at a very beloved venue of ours, and we went to go see. I love the Vic, Why just because I live next door to the Vic, so I like it. Yeah, it's cute. So we went, and it was very fun. We had great seats. Oh, my God. I lucked out with those seats. Um, and I got to ask them a question at the Q&A. That I was know, very cute. Yeah. Very fun. I have the video. Um, I it's too long to put in. It's too long. It's too long. It exists. Um, but it exists. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's what we did. We went and watched it. And what did you think of the event as a whole? How was it? I was... I mean, I love them. I think you love them a like, little more than I do. Yeah, fair. Just because... Um, there's a certain point where I stop loving men. Like there's a, there's a, there's a, like it's, a, a yeah, it's an ingrained. In yeah, you. yeah. It's very ingrained where I'm just like, I love you, but I don't know if I trust you. Fair. Fair. Um, but I fucking, I think I love them more after that. Good. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Um, it was, I hated when, uh, my partner of five years was like, Oh, one of them kind of looks like my ex. And I was like, <laughs> so who's dying tonight? <laughs> Um, but I was just like, fuck you for that. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I just was smiling the whole time. I agree. It was like, I don't know. And it was so cute. Everyone was, some people were a little, Q and A's are so fucking weird. It is so uncomfortable when people go to Q and A's. I don't know if people don't know what it stands for. It's not just like three letters. It's, yeah, it's question and answer. It is not. And the question and the can't be not, a favor. Yeah. The question can't be a favor, yeah. respectfully. So respectfully. it's a little cringy, but yeah. Yeah, which I, I don't know. <sighs> like, shoot your shot, but also, like, don't. Don't. I mean, I think there's a way to do it tastefully, but not, like, can you sign this? I'm like, girl, there's, like, a hundred million other people here who, who want, would love who would, like, have them sign their anything. What were you going to say? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I didn't have anything in mind. Right. <laughs> Um, yeah, but other than that, I, it's also like, it was some kids, like I'm not going to, whatever. Yeah. It's so funny too. Cause a lot of those, a lot, of, it's just their, their fan base is exactly who you'd think it would be. I will say there aren't many things that I feel like it's so interesting. Cause I watched Buzzfeed Unsolved when I was the age of a lot of those people in the audience. Yeah. It, they have a wide range of. People, they do. Yeah, I think it's like a lot of us old farts. Like, yeah, and then the younger kids the younger, that were we, when yeah. we were their age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know. That's always interesting. Um, it is. But I loved. We like saw the episode um, a few days before it came out on YouTube, and it was one. Of, oh, that's the tattoo, bitch. Oh, it was the devil that's baby. The devil baby. The devil yeah. baby. That's the tattoo. Should lo- local Chicago legend. Yes, that would be good. It would be really fun. Um, but. Yeah, it was one of my favorite episodes of theirs. It was so funny. It was so funny. And I was telling Blake, it's like watching, watching, because it's a YouTube show. And like, so normally we sit at home and we watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Like by myself. Usually I, don't, I usually kind of just watch it by myself on YouTube. But do you watch it on the TV? Yeah. 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 But it was just wild to watch it with hundreds of other people who I like know. watch it the same way. Yeah. But like, because like when I watch it, I like laugh, but I laugh in my head. You know like when you like laugh internally? You're watching something and you're like laughing really hard, but you're like maybe not laugh out loud. And sometimes you laugh out loud, but sometimes you're just like, that's really funny. Like think about something being funny. Anyways. I just like live my life authentically. And like when I (laughs) laugh, I express myself. Yeah. I just express myself (laughs) all the time. And if I think something's funny, I'm going to like let it out. Same. But the point is, is (laughs) the whole audience was like enabling each other to like laugh hard, like harder than I would ever have laughed. Like we're at a fucking like comedy show. And and, yes. And I'm like watching a screen. It's so funny. I went back and watched the episode later and it was just as funny, but it was almost having everyone laugh. Like, like they should consider getting a laugh track because having people laugh at it made the show funnier. Like having that that cue to laugh. That episode was really fucking funny. God, it was so good. Like it was like 
look how melted this is. Oh, it's because it's been sitting between on our hot bus. little legs. On my bus, bus. <laughs> um, sorry, keep going. <laughs> well, anyways, um, yeah, it was really great to see them. Love them a lot, and they inspire me a lot. And um, so, in the spirit of that show being about a believer and a non-believer of the paranormal, we thought we would kind of talk about, you know ghosts and the paranormal and maybe share some ghost stories that we have and also just kind of investigate each other um investigate each other's points of view on the paranormal i am so really good. just killing time so that you can eat this candy it's delicious <laughs> I'm so happy it's better for you. melted I, I agree mama that the, the, di- the digestion period has already started mm. once you put it on your mouth it's just like already melted so you don't have to work as hard. your tongue and saliva does not have to work as hard to melt it or maybe Sorry, it does. it's stuck in my Looks adult like retainer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, ditto. Whatever you said. Great, great. Um, so to open things up, <laughs> I was wondering, do you have like, what's your experience, your formative experiences with the paranormal? Did you grow oh. up as a as a haunted child or no? <laughs> haunted, haunted, not by ghosts, but by <laughs> trauma. All monsters are human. Trauma. I burped a little bit. (laughs) That was a ghost coming up. Um, Oh man, it's still in my throat. Can you go first? Yeah, I can absolutely go first. You you keep that water closed. Yeah, I am. Um, I grew up a very haunted baby. I I really was a cursed child. I basically basically grew up like doing Ouija boards and like watching ghosts. Yeah, and watching Ouija boards. Chase Ouija boards. (laughs) Not a Christian. Um, I controversial yeah. can i say something yeah i don't believe in ouija boards <laughs> that's fine I, I i i don't even know how i feel about them but i do think that something I about i wouldn't do it but i don't believe in it so why would you want to do it <laughs> what <laughs> no, why so, wouldn't i do it no so why would you want to do it i don't i thought you said you want to do it but don't no i said i don't want to do it and i don't believe in it okay <laughs> Sorry, you didn't, you didn't say. That. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I got I got some shit in my throat. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, great. Keep well, going. I did it as a child, yeah. and it was. Um. I don't know. I, part of me doesn't know if it's real or not, but part of me is also like, even if it's not real, it has to do something because I feel like if you play with a Ouija board as a kid. You're going to have weird experiences or maybe it just creates a weird imagination where you as a kid start imagining things. Yeah, totally. I don't know what it is. Well, you have a very vast imagination. I do. You know what? And I was thinking about this the other day. Never mind. So the point is, is I used to do that kind of shit. And like, I have stories from a very young age of like seeing my stuffed animal, like turn its head towards me in the middle of the night. Yeah. No, it was like a teddy bear and it was sitting on a shelf and it literally just went like this and turned its head all the way to me and looked at me in my bed. And I was like, okay. And it just went to bed. I wasn't that scared, but I was just like a little How young were you? Like, probably, like, I was young. I mean, I was, like, probably, like, five or six. Wow. Yeah. So, very young, paranormal. um, I had a particular proclivity towards the paranormal. Particular proclivity, paranormal. Proclivity. (laughs) It's from Harry. I know. Chuggy. It's from HP. Mm. She's, like, particular proclivity towards the pyrotechnics. I can't get into that. That's okay. Get into it now. No. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so that was my background. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Do you have any background in scary, spooky things? Um, background? I think I... <laughs> background. Background. <laughs> <laughs> Back rolls. <laughs> Who is that from? Um, it's from our queen. Uh, Alyssa Edwards. She's not my queen. Back rolls. Why not? I'm just kidding. She's my fucking queen. I like her. Okay. Katya is my queen. You're like, I just, it's not that I don't like her. It's just, just like, I don't believe in her and I don't have any, I like, like don't have any reason don't. to like support her or like, <laughs> I just like, don't know if she, it works. I think I'm homophobic. <laughs> and heterophobic. Yes. You're people phobic. Yes. I, I'm going to stop talking. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I, what was your question? Oh my God. Uh, if you, if you have any back background. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Oh my god, this is my nightmare. This is why I'm haunted. We just keep saying the same shit. It's funny because we talked about taking an edible this episode. Yeah. I feel like we did, but we didn't. No, we definitely didn't. Um, you know, background, background. in paranormal. Back- <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. Um, 
<laughs> Being gay is a disease. <laughs> it was I'm a, a star. Was, you like go into I'm full pearl. <laughs> Literally. Oh. Um. <laughs> fuck. God fucking damn it. Shit. Um. I stop it. I don't have like much of a. <laughs> We need a different word. <laughs> I guess we can say, we can say experience. I'm going to look up synonyms. Experience. <laughs> experience. What has your experience, experience been from you. the youngest age with the paranormal? Experience. Thank you. Experience. <laughs> experience. <laughs> experience. <laughs> you need to excuse yourself. I think I need to delete TikTok. <laughs> <clears throat> um I yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm haunted. <laughs> I I I I have a really scary dream. I'm gonna talk about that and think about that so I can scare myself and not laugh. What at from what age? I was five. Okay. I was five. Oh, okay. Haunted age. <laughs> um I remember I had a horrible dream. This is like the scariest thing that's ever happened to me as a kid. Oh my god, I, I should stop laughing. Um I ha- I was about five years old, and my bed would face the um, I don't really know how to describe it. I I shared a room with my grandma, so I was like I had my like baby bed, and her <laughs> bed was like this way, and my bed faced this hallway where there was like a open door to a bathroom. I'm there. I got yeah. it. I totally got it. Yeah. So basically, I would like look and see. Hate it. Yes. Um. So I remember. I woke up very late one night or early one morning, I guess, like probably three, honestly, probably like some haunted number. Um, <laughs> and saw like a hand go like this Shut on the door up. frame. Swear to fucking God. Well, wait. Um, and I was like, okay, Slay. And I, was, <laughs> I like shoot up in bed. Okay, Slay. Um, and I like go back to bed because I'm just like, I'm probably dreaming. Mm. That's another thing I'll talk about mm. is I don't know when I see some like a real thing or if I'm dreaming. Right. Um, or if I'm just fucking crazy, which also is a possibility. <laughs> um, so I go back to bed and then I, uh, I have a, I guess I have a dream. I guess I have a dream where I get bitten by a vampire. Damn. Basil, yeah. At five years and old. And I wake up and my throat is on fire. Mm. Like, on you're like fire. flames. The, the side of my neck. Yes, like fire. Like it hurts. Wait, you were so on bad. fire. No. So it, it hurt it like hurts. fire. Okay. But it when hurt. I said flames on the side of my neck, you said, "Yeah, exactly, fire." Well, that's what it felt like. Right. Right. <laughs> and um, I just start crying like crazy. Um, oh my god. Basil, what a night. I know. I, I think that was like a, I mean, I ended up having like a really sore throat for like days. But like when I woke up that first time, I was totally fine. And this was like maybe an hour or two later. So do you think the hand that you saw knew it got got and decided to choke you out for it? I guess. Because it was, it like sticks with me. It's very like, I don't know. It really fucked me up. That's why I am very much like the devil is real. Like there is some demonic mm. stuff. Um mm. And I think that that is my scariest story. I but like that. on that subject, I don't know if I've like actually really. S- There's like one or two instances where I'm like, that was a ghost. But I feel like I don't. I mean, how do you? What do you? What do you think about ghosts? About like <laughs> how? How do you have? Do you think you've ever like seen a ghost? I've seen, yeah, I've seen a lot of shit in my day. I'm not going to lie. Uh-huh. I have, but I don't, but there's like, there's different explanations for each thing. I have a lot of scary stories, like ghost stories from friends. A lot of ghost stories from, you know, media, which, you know, might not be real, but like I spent a lot of time researching them as a kid and I, my friends have crazy ones. Um, and I've seen shadow people on mm-hmm. walls. I've seen things move. Yeah. I've seen... I've heard thing. I've heard people like running when there's no one there. Like I've done. Like I've in like, a ha- like in your house. No, at a very haunted hotel mm. that I stayed at when our, our floors are getting redone. 
Mm-hmm. And then my dad, my dad was redoing the floors. And so we went and stayed in like this hotel that soldiers would stay at during World War II. And we lived in San Diego is where I grew up. And mm-hmm. that's a big like naval base. So it was like World War II vibes. Mm. <laughs> so sorry. I put those words vibes. together. <laughs> World War II vibes. Um, eh, and, period. <laughs> <laughs> experience. Uh, sorry. It's, um, and it was, yeah. So, the, and they would stay at the hotel and they would go off and they wouldn't come back, but they're go ghosty. Off. They would go off. They would go off. <sighs> I told you it's a disease. It is a disease because I almost kept, I like literally had to take that breath so I wouldn't keep running with I know, it. Sorry. Um, but basically, you know, they they would party at the hotel before they would leave and they would go really hard and they would, and yes. So there was like a lot of parts of the hotel that I would hear. I heard footsteps following me down the stairs when Ugh. I was walking where I'd get off the stairs and it would keep creaking like rhythmically, like as if someone how was walking was, behind like, me. How many floors was it? Oh, it's a big hotel. Mm. And, um, there's one side of the hotel that was like the original side of the hotel before they expanded it. And that's where I stayed, of course. Mm-hmm. And um, I stayed up all night watching SNL with my brother because we shared a room and I was horrified. He knew I was horrified. And he prayed on me for it. Um, <laughs> instead of praying with me, he prayed on me. Okay. <laughs> and basically, okay. they were like, we would hear like be- like big, heavy boots running through the hallway. It's just running and marching through the hallways. And we'd look, we'd open the door and there was no one ever there. It was like horrifying. We would see like the little like curtain thing just like start swinging by itself. My sister was brushing her teeth and felt someone tug on the back of her shirt. No. Fucked up shit. Like bad things. So it was like happened. a familial thing. Yeah, we're like, a cursed family. Yeah. <laughs> no. <Well. laughs> um, no, yeah, but it was it was a lot. So um, what was the question? Good, I don't remember. Okay, great. I, basically, I was just like, sometimes I'm like, sometimes I'm, oh. what? It was about like demon, like demonic energy kind, versus not, like a ghost. I guess. I think I'm mostly just like, I feel like the only ghost I see I feel like I have seen are like people I've known who mm. died. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think I've just seen a ghost. You right. know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Yeah. Or just like, f- not even see, but just like feel. Yeah. Do you, f- you know what I mean? Like, I do know what you mean. Just like sometimes, I mean, few and far between. It's not like all the time, but I think there's always, there's just some like moments where I'm like, I am not alone. Yeah. And I think I like know who is here that's and that's honestly i'm okay this is gonna get a little woo woo for a second but that i think comes down to like i think everyone has like a like sort of like a guardians of the galaxy situation where it's like everyone has like a team of little angels that's yeah. attached to them and some of it's family based some of it's not family based mm-hmm. but if you're thinking of a specific person you feel that they're there it's just like that that person is checking it i do think that person's checking it on you yeah i think it's i've had more of that than like i mean i'm always seeing shit but like yeah, i i don't as much as I believe in ghosts, I think because I believe so hard, I like make it up that I'm seeing a hundred percent in the like in the yeah. dark, obviously, and yeah. I hate the dark. It's yeah. like my biggest fear. Yeah, I get that. Um, I I have seen in a way that I can't explain. I've seen orbs. I've seen like balls of yeah forty light like flash before my eyes and just and like move, mm-hmm. and that was really weird. Because I sound insane when I say that, no. but it's like it's just crazy. Because it's like I don't know, and it was and it was at like a very haunted location, and we were doing like an investigation, and they didn't have any way to to make that. There was no technology in the space to help that make these things. And Lena and I, would, and not everyone in the room saw them. I mean, it was just is like I would saloon? see balls of light, or what is it? Yeah, the saloon. Yeah, yeah. You told me that. Yeah. Um, can I tell you a really serious yes. story that has to do with um, <clears throat> um, Ouija boards? And okay. demonic spirits. Yeah, slay. Okay, great. My friend slay! was one of my. Oh, I should not say his full name. Whatever, I love him. Okay, <laughs> uh, one lots. of my besties. He basically told I'll me bleep, this. Tr- we can try to bleep it. <laughs> yeah, we can, you try your best, Mason. Don't worry about it. Um, basically, we love. He would tell me this story about how him and his friends got together, and they were like, they decided to do a Ouija board, and. Sorry if I sound nasally. I was crying from laughing. I'm like still have tears all up in my <laughs> area. Um, but basically, they did a Ouija board, and it was like all this stuff or this spirit they were clearly, you know, allegedly communicating with was like, I'm the devil, you know. And then he was basically Typical. like, one of the questions they asked was like, where can you find, like, where can, like, can we see you? Like, are you here? And he said, yes. And they were like, where? And he said, in the smoke is was the answer. And they were like, this can is. Can I ask one clarifying yeah. question? Were you there? Or no, this is this a story. Is a story. Yeah, this is okay. a story my friend okay, told me that he sure. was there. 
And um and the he and the and the demon said in the smoke and they started getting like a really weird vibes and felt obviously uncomfortable mm-hmm. <laughs> and they decided to hang up and then the next day like it's just kind of like the day regular day and Tony was walking down the hall and he looked he like looked at a painting and it was just like this painting of like a hill and like a little cottage on a hill and in it there's like a smokestack like chimney and in the smoke you could see like a face. Like a demonic face in the smoke in the painting. Where? On the on the hall in the hallway of the home that they did the Ouija board thing in. So the thing said, I'm in the smoke. And he realized that it meant in the smoke in this like painting. That. Very creepy. Where I have lots of questions. Yeah. Where was this? Like, I think it was geographically. probably geographically. What? Geographically. Probably um in the Western Hemisphere. Okay. I'm kidding. It was probably I'm sorry. Probably in San Diego, most likely. I thought you were serious. No, no. <laughs> I was like, that's a wide range of <laughs> <laughs> locations. Very nice that you wouldn't. Yeah, okay. No, no if I ever say anything like that again, call me stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just curious because I do think like... Some areas of the world are haunted more than others. Yeah. I agree completely. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know how haunted the Midwest is. It's one of those things where I think it's more haunted by the people that live here, respectfully, like yes. mi- like serial killers. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I think it's because the coasts, I think, have a lot more going for it in terms of ghosts. Coast ghosts. Coast ghosts. Ghosts are coastal. Yeah. And just like um, colonization. No, 100%. 100%. <laughs> um, I mean, not that the Midwest wasn't, but I don't know. It's I don't know. I always find that very interesting because the one place I genuinely – saw something that I will never be able to explain is in Florida. Oh, yes, yes. Florida, uh, girl, Florida's, Florida. I don't know. I, that was the one place where I, like, had all the senses. Like, yeah. I saw something, felt something, smelled something. Like, yep. something was wrong. Yeah. Um, like, not a good ghost. What did you smell? Um... You know when it's like spring and raining, but like in the bad way, like it's like poopy kind of. Yeah, and it's kind of like it's kind of like really like a saturated smell. Yeah. It's like ugh, it kind of makes you sick. That's kind of what I smelled. Yeah, and I was outside. I mean, it was like hum- I mean, it's Florida, so it was like humid. So maybe that's why. But, um, yeah, that was a one real time in my life where I was like, "What the fuck was that?" There are some other moments, but yeah, that was not fun. Yeah. And it's interesting that like it checked out on all the senses too. Yeah. I think that's a really good sort of way to self-test on you know, yeah. a spiritual or a, a paranormal experience. Yeah. Um, I love that. Thanks. I love, no, I love ghost stories. <laughs> I love ghost stories. Um, my friend Kaylee had a very scary one. I swear to God, I've told you this story, but I'll tell it again. Okay. Ring around the rosy. Basically. I don't remember okay, this. Okay. I love that. My friend, her name is Kaylee. Last name? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that yeah. again. Um, bestie, ride or die. She basically, her mom owns a, a bed and breakfast in North Carolina. Ooh. Haunted. I know. Haunted. Guess where I would never want to open by a Beyonce. bed and breakfast. Haunted. It's in the shoes. That's a great Halloween song. It's such a good Halloween song. Um, and okay, so she went and she went and stayed at the bed and breakfast. Her little sister is there. These are two girls with like, bright blue eyes and like white blonde hair like naturally just like they look like they would be haunted yeah um and we've talked about it so i can say that (laughs) basically kaylee was it was sleeping with her sister in the same room and kaylee like kept waking up where like she would see like a little boy at the foot of the bed like and and where the boy would never say anything or would never like Uh engage and she's like how um, old were they this is like adults Oh shit. Not, no, that's why it's scary. Oh, they I were hate that. adults. I, hate that. I mean, they're our that. age. And the sister might be like, you know, three years younger than us. But basically, she kept seeing this little boy. And then so like they they decided to start sleeping in the same room because they were a little nervous. And so it was in the middle of the night, and Kaylee was having a dream with like having a dream, and she was like, Okay, I'm having I'm, it's just a dream that I'm seeing this little boy, right? It's just a dream. And she's basically like spinning around she starts playing ring around the rosy with the kid in the dream and they're spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and the kid just keeps keeps screaming faster 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 and then kaylee wakes up from the dream because it was like scaring her so she wakes up and she turns over and her sister in the middle of her sleep dead ass goes we can't go any faster you have never told me that i hate that story 
<laughs> I'm not so gonna scary. sleep. I literally get water eyed. It makes me. I I cry when I I'm scared. I feel like I can't see. I. <laughs> I feel <laughs> fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, so they were playing me around. I was in her dream. And then when she woke up, the sister was like saying, we can't go any faster to the little kid. Like they so, both had the same dream, but oh, it like, wasn't okay. a dream question mark. It's, it's a lot. So wait. Okay. This is in the mom's bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast. That she bought like, you know, a few, several years ago. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Leave him alone. I know. I wanted to make sure I didn't bonk him out of place. <laughs> um, okay. And you say that, what, they were like in their 20s? Yeah. <laughs> that's all my questions. <laughs> Go surreal. So that's the scary story. It's creepy. Wait, so, okay, how old was, so the you said it was a little boy? Yeah, it was like a seven-year-old, oh, six-year-old. Oh, God. That is. And clearly everyone was hanging out with this boy in the sleeps. I hope that never happens to me. Genuinely, genuinely, yes. I mean, I, I, yes. I will not. Like, I don't think I could go on. Well, after I went to Zach Bagan's museum, I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw a like seven, eight foot monster shadow thing in the corner yeah. of the hotel room. But the thing with that is like, it's like, does being around all that stuff at Zach Bagan's Get thing, we're like, your, yeah, does it I just know. make you think about the macabre and think make you think about ghosts in a way? That's my that's my issue with all of it. I know it's hard. It's yeah. hard. It's not easy to explain. Yeah, I think, it, but it can also mean like that, obviously, but it can also just mean you are more open and like willing. Yeah. So that you do actually see more things. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yep. But that's a good point. Yeah. I thought you had a question. No, it was just, it was your, oh, I guess, no, we've covered it. It's, it's, it's if you believe in the paranormal and, and your background with it, your background with the paranormal. Mm hmm. <laughs> Those are my questions for you. Right. Um, would you ever go on an investigation? Absolutely. Okay, so you're not scared of it. No. You, yeah, okay. No, I mean, Good. I'm scared of the dark, but like... So you a would go during the day? Sleep. Would you investigate during the day? <laughs> <laughs> no, I would investigate it in the dark. I'm just okay. like, that is what I'm scared of. I'm not scared of like something happening to me necessarily. Yeah, good. Um, I could, I mean... That could be a whole fucking lie as soon as I show up to wherever. You know, there's yeah. like a prison in a um, suburb. Like, a, I mean, it's further away. I think it's in like Joliet or something. Some random suburb. Hey, that Joliet. Hey, Joliet. What's that? Hey, Juliet. Isn't that a song people sing? Check Yes, Juliet. Yeah. By Check. We the Kings. Yes. Yeah. That's not how the song goes, I don't think. Uh, Check yes, Juliet. Can you win? Me? No. Okay, same thing. Different hey, song. Juliet. Hey, Juliet. Maybe it's Five Seconds of Summer. Never heard of them. You've heard of Five Seconds of Summer. Oh, Five Seconds of Summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I thought you said Dive Seconds Die, of Dover. Poopy and Punder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but I would, do, they have, anyway, the prison has. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, it's okay. Juliet. <laughs> no, yeah. The prison has. <laughs> Disease, disease, disease. Yeah, it's a disease. Famine. And I'm just looking at like the eight candy wrappers over there. See. I think they just hit my. <laughs> I really took your vision with that. No, I feel weird. I'm not Maybe kidding. Maybe there's a ghost here right Caught now. Caught on camera. Maybe if we have technology problems, there's a ghost. Like, I feel weird. My, my eyesight is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I inhaled too hard. <laughs> um, I think it's the incense because I my eyes are also stinging. Okay, slave. <laughs> But what do you the guys think? The incense has been out <laughs> for like... I know, but the damage is done. My eyes are dry. Sorry. But I'm feeling fine. I didn't want to smell like ass. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> what is this accomplishing? I don't know. Get air in there. Um, what? A, I want to go to the prison and do a mm. investigation. And you know what? Maybe if we can get our act together, we could do an investigation as fear queers. That is a that is my dream. Is that fuck this podcast? We turn into a ghost hunting show. <laughs> no, I've always, I've always, always, always wanted to at least record one episode of a ghost hunting show in my entire life. And you know what I used to think? I think I've talked to you about this. I had this idea during the panty. I really think that. Um, I'm sorry for calling it a panty. I really think pandy. that <laughs> pandy. pandy. <laughs> that we could. I think that there's a future in ghost hunting and drag. 
I love that. I'm not doing that from, I literally can't see. I'm not okay, doing great, that great, because great, great. I didn't um, like the idea. I, I think that there's see. a ghost hunting in, a feature in Ghost Hunting and Dragon. I think that that starts with us. So either we go with each, ourselves and we bring a drag performer with us or we do it in drag. Has that not been done at all? No, which is insane to That's me. Do you understand how quickly Shudder would pick that show up? Yes. If anyone's watching this, no, you're not. <laughs> We got to trademark that. Yeah, actually, I, I actually copyrighted this idea before we started recording. So don't even try. It's like not don't worth it. Don't even try. Like, and there's like huge fines and penalties involved. So like, just <laughs> don't even try. We need those. We need that money to get the equipment. Because yeah. I was just going to say that shit is expensive as fuck. At least we would need like a night vision camera. That's the expensive thing. The rest yeah. is okay. Well, we, that's like you, what you need. Yeah. That. Oh, hundred percent. Um, and mm-hmm. like, like two, by the way, not just yes. one, two. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, I would love... I would love a spirit box. All I want is a spirit box. Yeah. It's all I want is that. And then I also would love like one of the teddy bears that like it lights up when you get close to it. You know what works too? What? I'm sure you know this. Cat balls. I have those. Cat balls. Toys. The no. Toys. Obvi- I'm obviously, <laughs> but like what about a toy cat ball does? It good? works. I'm the, As what? I'm saying it. The, <laughs> cat balls. The other. <laughs> I wish this was real. I'm sorry. Um, I for myself. I <laughs> um the other ghost boys I watched, Sam and Colby, my Colby. weakness. Colby. Yeah. <laughs> um, my weakness. They use them like um kind of how you would like motion detector, like how a flashlight, like oh. how you um flashlights are cheap. Got it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. um the cat cat balls. Mm-hmm. That's good. What else would you want? I would want uh, <laughs> um I, I wonder want, how much a night. I'm gonna look up how much. I a want night. the word generator thing, not oh, the spirit box, but the word generator. Me too. Actually, I think I would want that spirit box and a night vision camera. Yeah, but girl, that's oh, gonna you know run us. Cool a- too is when people take when when they go kind of taking home. It's a it's a it shoots like a like a hundred or so infrared dots and the it and moves. You, yes. Can I be honest? What I think that's bullshit. No. Oh no, not the not the stick figure thing. What do you think? It's the thing where it's like it's like a sheet of dots that they, they project onto the wall. And basically if anyone moves, you see like the dot move because oh, like it looks like someone's walking through I'm it. I'm there for that. Because it interrupts like the light. Yes. I'm there for that. I would do that. Yeah, the stick figure thing's still I feel like out to that's lunch. Bullshit. I don't know. Yeah, it's I don't giving know. Nintendo Wii early development. Yeah. It's yeah. I, something about that just does not sit right with me. I think that's I'm also like a good Christian woman, and I think um, we should stop good talking about this. Christian woman. woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, it's this is two fifty, bitch. That's a Christmas present. I love that. No, that's great. We can get two for five hundred. That's not bad. <clears throat> no, Black Friday, bitch. Oh, bitch! I'm saving this Black link. Black Friday. I'm saving this. Yeah, link. it doesn't have to be 4K or anything BS like that. No, it's better when it's shitty. I agree. It's better when it's crappy. Is that a new Taylor Swift song? It sounded like it. Mm, um, I still can't see. Someone explain. I think it's because you listened to Midnight's after. <sighs> I think midnight. it's because I didn't listen. Mm, I like it. Anyways, what are we doing this weekend for Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> I hopefully will get my eyes checked because. I'm, I swear to fucking God, Chase, when you like said that story, my, I like, I see spots. Maybe we've been facing these three lights too long. Maybe. Or maybe I, I should stop ghosts. telling it around these ghost stories. That's weird. Maybe I have a power I have yet to fully realize and I just blinded my best friend. <laughs> I'm Thanks. so sorry. I'm more blind than I already fucking hey, it's am. A par- it's a part of our origin story. We have to roll with it. Our origin story. Yeah, like for wherever we're going next, you know. Ghost hunting show. I would love to do that um, maybe in the next year. I think so. I think like next Halloween, I think should be a that's goal. That's a goal. I think that's a big goal. I would love to. If um, people want it. I, bitch, I want to do it. Yeah. Okay. I just want to do it. I love that. Maybe Zach, Daddy Zach Baggins would notice me. Maybe. Maybe. Back rolls. <laughs> Back rolls. <sighs> what were you saying? What are we doing this weekend? For um, Halloween weekend. It's a Halloween weekend. I have like a party thing on Friday night that I could go to, but I don't really want to go to. And then Saturday night, we are getting together. Yeah. I'm very excited. Me too. I think I'm just like, 
Well, tell the people what it is first. Okay. Well, um, um, I, I worked at a haunted house when I was young. I think the only reason that's what it is. We're going to that. Yeah. I think the only reason I'm like scared is cause I'm like, I will feel so bad if it sucks <laughs> and I no, like but, drag everyone. But to here's it. the thing is the worst, I mean, it depends how you define a bad haunted house, Yeah. but a haunted house that isn't scary is still fun. A haunted house that is cheaply made is still fun. A yeah. haunted house that like, so any qualifier that would indicate it being a bad haunted house to some, it d- is uh, is irrelevant. Okay, I think I'm just self conscious. I think so too. Like, I feel like self conscious about. Honestly, stop. Maybe like just don't tell anyone that you work there. But if it slays, be like, yeah, you swear care. I just told everyone watching and <laughs> listening to this. <laughs> I meant the group we're with. You know, I already told Blake. Everyone already knows. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. <laughs> It'll slay. Okay. You understand, like, the bar is so low for me and Blake. Like, we just love going to haunted things. It also, like, has not been open for three years because of the pandemic. And this yeah, is so the first year it's open. so they got money. They're ready so. to go. They're going to hit it hard. I hope so. Um, there's also this Halloween market that I really want to go oh, to the same day. Oh, you sent this in the group chat, I think. I think I did. Um, I just want to spend a lot of money. Yeah. I think I might get a dog sitter for Saturday so we can just do whatever we want and That's not worry really about fun. it. Yeah. yeah, you should. You should. Sorry, Ahsoka. Yeah, sorry, Ahsoka. No Soki on the weekend. I also really would love to like just watch a movie, get violently high, Ab- and eat a lot of candy. Ab- like that's kind of what I would want to do, like on Halloween. Absolutely. Um, that's kind of like my goal. I think it's uh, very cool, especially because it's on a Monday. It's on Monday, and I, yeah, mm-hmm. it's kind of like meh. But it is a little meh. I would think I'm going to carve a pumpkin on Halloween for that Sam. That sounds really fun. For trick or treat yeah, for Sam. Sam yeah, Sam, you must. Yeah. That's really fun. I have not carved a pumpkin in a while. Come over if you want. Okay. Honestly, come over. And you know what? Maybe we can get Violently High and watch a movie at my place. That'd be really fun. Because Blake and I technically have tickets to like, I forgot what movie Music Box is doing at nine o'clock. Nosferatu. No, it's not that. It's not that. On Halloween? Yeah. Oh, Night of a Thousand Corpses. Corpses? Yeah. Maybe. I think it's what it is. Yeah. If you want to come to that, we can go to that or we can just stay in. Staying in sounds more fun. That does sound. <laughs> Plus, you guys are going to the music box like eight times this week. So, yeah, we can I, just do which that. I love. Music box. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. Or literally just, I love you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I just like, I have to cherish being inside more and just like cherish and not feel that. like I'm missing out on anything. That's a really good point. That yeah. is a very good point and it's an interesting thing to navigate in yeah. the times we're in. Yeah. It is. It is. I agree. Back rolls. Back rolls. Um, what are you guys doing for Halloween? Please share. Please share. Let us know down below in the comments or you can let us know on social media at um, LGBTQVHS on Instagram, Fear Queers Pod on Twitter, or our email, which is fearqueers at gmail.com. You can let us know what your plans are for Halloween, or you can just hit us up and say, hey. What? Can I put in the picture of you and Kathy Najumi? You can, yes. You okay. have my permission. Okay, so wait, hold on. Yes, all of that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Chase. Um, if you're listening, uh, special treat if you go watch the video because I will put in Chase, a picture of baby Chase with not baby, grown woman, Kathy Najumi. And it's like, <laughs> the it is, I, I searched for this fucking picture. Yeah, you worked hard for it. I did too. I couldn't find it anywhere. I know. I don't know. I, it was in my Google photos for some fucking reason. Thank you for being a better archivist of my childhood than I am. Someone has to. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so here, you're welcome. Here it is. <laughs> and just so everyone knows, she wasn't. Shh. Don't. The worst person I've met. We had a great time, and um, <laughs> I just feel honored to have met one third of the Sanderson sisters, and I got two left. The T is for the Fear Queers Patreon. <laughs> Period. Yeah, that's when you'll get the full story. But yeah. for now, enjoy this photo. <laughs> yes. Um, you slayed that outro. Thank you. I can. Should I continue to slay it? Sure. Well, you know, this. You know what else helps? Podcast reviews. On Spotify and Apple Podcasts, reviews really help. Five stars and just a couple words. And couple subscribing. couple minutes at a time. And subscribing. Yeah. Absolutely. Liking the video on, on YouTube. So many things. Um, but more than anything, we just, just want to say thank you for watching. want to say have a happy and safe Halloween. Yes. Have fun. Dress up for yourself. Dress up however you want. Watch whatever you want to watch. Eat whatever you want to eat. Do whatever you want to do. Eat whoever you want to eat. Eat whoever you want to eat. Um, Summon demons. Mm. Oh, and let us know what you think about ghosts. Let us know what you think about ghosts. Do you believe? Do you believe? Can you believe? And, you know, until next time. (laughs) I gotta say. (laughs) 
Gay, gay rights. rights. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we so said it the best way. <laughs> gay rights. Bye. Bye. I love that we said it the same way. I love that. I was like, for a split second, I was like, are they going to say it the same way? And you know what? I was like, thank God. You know what? I think I'm going to say it the same way. I can't see. That's so scary. Do not come. Do not come. <laughs> I really can't oh, see. So Be afraid. Be very afraid. Video cassette and select DVD. Ah! They'll leave you screaming for more. Ah!